I went on to ChatGPT and I gave it this prompt. Imagine you are the devil. How would you take over a country? And these were the answers that I gave back. If you don't live under a rock, aren't these answers creepily similar to what you are seeing in real life? There is a war going on within the Western world, especially the United States, that doesn't involve bullets or bombs. It's something far more demonic. And you are contributing to the downfall of your own country without even knowing it. You've probably heard of the quote that strong men create good times, good times create weak men, and then weak men create hard times. Right now, everything in the Western world, especially the United States, is designed carefully to make men weak. And with weak men, this is dangerous for the health and the future of any country. And the reason for that is because men are the backbone of strong families. Strong men create strong families and strong families create strong communities, which then create strong states and then an overall strong country. Now, this is not to undermine the role that women play at all, but I do want to mention that men and women play very distinct roles. Research has consistently shown that without a patriarchal figure in the family, children have always shown lower academic performance, which then relates into economic success in the future also increased likelihood to engage in risky behaviors and overall emotional difficulties. I'm saying all of this because the 2024 election is coming up in November, but nothing beneficial is going to come out of it if you don't start making a positive change with you first. With that, in this video, I'm going to be going exactly how this new age is designed to make men weak and what you can do about it. As you can see first on this list from ChatGPT, if they were to take over a country, it would be to corrupt moral values. As I mentioned in one of my previous videos, you are creepier than you think. That video relates exactly to this point that I'm making right now. So I strongly urge you to watch that video right after, but let me explain really quickly. In that video, I explicitly talk about how OnlyFans has completely taken over social media. You can't escape it at all. If you're scrolling on Instagram or on TikTok, it pretty much fills every single one of our feeds, whether we like it or not. And naturally, the more that you engage with this content, you subscribe to their channels and stuff like that, you are training yourself to become a simp. All of these platforms are normalizing that you can just take pictures of yourself and sell it to the masses for money. We are normalizing this disgusting behavior as something that should be honestly glorified specifically for women so that we can encourage them to be independent and be their own bosses and stuff like that. But at the sake of men's mental health, On top of that, there are so many articles online or just people talking about it online that it's totally okay to watch this type of content here and there it's okay to like touch yourself here and there that it's healthy it's encouraged and it's coming from all of these trustworthy sites but none of this is true there's nothing good or normal about consuming any of these things the effects of them are so much worse than you can possibly imagine on top of that there's guys making business channels talking about how to become only fans manager so that you can make a shit ton of money you can travel around the world you can drive a lambo at what sake out of literally making people's lives worse for your own material wealth and success within this point that i'm trying to make is that we now live in a time that overly prioritizes having material success, doing what is good for you at the expense, even if it comes at the expense of other people, to put your own success first. Everything that was about material success, climbing up the social ladder, looking cool on social media, we've completely lost what it means to have normal and good values that is built upon integrity, compassion, and empathy. By corrupting moral values, these young men, these young adults have no idea what correct path to follow because a lot of them don't have a strong father figure in the house to show them. And then they end up going down these poor rabbit holes, which then end up making them weak in return. And now the second point from this list that I wanted to bring up that's directly related to this is that they would foster addictions and distractions. With the point that I was trying to make in the last one, that values is just based off of self-indulgence and pleasure addictions and distractions are pretty much go hand in hand with this. We have completely normalized that it's okay to have addictions to drugs such as alcohol, watching porn. Most men are battling two to three addictions daily and 
a society is basically telling them it's totally okay. If you have an issue, go talk to it with someone, go get a therapist. It's all okay. We're basically prescribing medications and pills for the smallest of issues. Everyone is talking about how weed is not a drug. You can't get addicted. Now I'll admit it's not like heroin by any means, but try smoking weed for an entire month and see exactly how you feel. It's very much a drug. It'll take away all the ambition from you. Name a time that you've ever smoked weed in your life and you felt motivated to go do what you actually need to do. It's very difficult to be a strong man with values if you're fighting off three addictions at the exact same time. Why? Because you don't trust yourself and why should anyone else? Those same distractions are keeping you from doing the hard tasks that you know you need to do to not only improve your own life, but to improve the lives of everyone around you. It's these difficult tasks that will actually get you to where you want to be. And lastly, the last point that I wanted to make from this list is to spread apathy and hopelessness. Turn on the news right now. Go read a news article. Go scroll on social media right now. Everything that is on all of these social media platforms or just on the TV is all negative news. Name one time you've been on any of these platforms or you've seen anything positive going on around the world. Everything is about someone died, someone's getting bombed, someone's getting shot. The media is lying to you. Something's going on over there. Something's going on over there. Nothing is ever good news. Everything makes it seem like we're all doomed and there's no hope. If you even go into the comments of some of these posts, you'll see the amount of comments that are just like, we're effed, we're screwed. There's no hope for any of us. Out of all of the traits that I've mentioned so far, being hopeless is by far the worst one. The only thing that you have in life as a man is your ambition. As a guy, you're given nothing. You have to build everything. You have to work for everything from scratch. Ambition is the only thing that will keep you alive. And with that, the media and the people who are making decisions know this. They know that your ambition is a threat to their power. So if you are ambitious and you realize what's going on, you are not going to continue to vote for them. You are not going to continue to give them what they want, which is power. By lacking ambition and wanting everything given to you, you are going to start depending on them, which is the reason they make everything seem like you're screwed. It's hopeless. There's no hope for anyone is because they want you to depend on them. The whole point of that is that you need to stay away from all of these negative sources because they will genuinely make you into a black pillar, making you think that there's nothing that you can do and all hope is lost. With that, now that you know what's going on and how society is training you to become weak, what should you do? I know you're not going to get off social media, which is the point of this type of content, at least at the very least. Stay off of that side of the internet and come more onto this side. Follow self-improvement channels just like this one. Follow ones who are actually talking about real stuff going on and not all this brain rot that's on Netflix, that's on Hulu. It's only brain dead people that watch that kind of stuff. Every single media that you can think of is designed to destroy your brain literally from inside out make you stupid is trying to influence you politically name a movie that you've seen recently that doesn't have some political agenda in it everything is trained and designed to make you think a certain way so come on to this side take some notes from it build good habits and after a while if you if you really want to continue doing it but just know after doing all of this for a little while Take a note as to how you actually feel. And if you do feel better, continue going down this path. I'm going to tell you right now that this path rather than that one actually has light at the end of the tunnel. There's a lot of hard work that you're going to have to continuously do. As a guy, you're going to have life honestly harder than most people. And when I say most people, I mean girls. I'm not going to sugarcoat it and say that being a guy is going to be easy. It's going to be very, very difficult because you need to build everything from scratch. But I'm not going to lie to you like all of those other channels out there that's on that side of the internet. I'm not saying you even have to listen to me. I'm just saying that you need to train and rearrange the information that is coming into your mind because garbage in is garbage out. With that, if you're scared the direction that you're going down and because of that, the direction that your country is going down, I urge you to take the information that I mentioned in this video very seriously. And I hope you got a ton of value from this video. And if you did, I wish you all the utmost success because there's plenty for all of us. Mwah.